Hello, Gina. Hey, Donna. Well, here How we are again, part two. We are part two in Facebook, and maybe we should tell everybody who we are, just in case they don't know. That's true. In case but, you're just tuning in for our five-part series, I'm Gina Shrek. Yeah. And I'm Donna Gilliland. And we're doing a whole recap of the year 2010 tech review and a little forecasting, looking off into 2011. How will these yeah. trends affect our business? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so th in this segment, segment number two, we are discussing the things that have happened uh, relative to Facebook. And, of course, they're probably way too many to list. Huge. In the course of our, yeah, huge. And uh, But uh, just to mention a couple of things, we're going to discuss, uh, or three things, let's say. We're going to discuss the uh, deals, right. uh, places, and we're going to discuss the, the big uh, launch of the new message inbox. Right. Uh, oh, actually, and see a fourth one. We also had groups change. Oh yeah, that's right. So four, like that's I said. Of, and you know what? There's five. There was the Facebook movie. <laughs> oh, now, how could we forget that one? That was pretty big. Oh, big money at the box office. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. So um, one of the um, you know uh, in the prior segment we we talked about mobile and uh, so. You know, on, on that note, uh, deals, uh, for example, in, in case people aren't familiar, deals, just thinking about what that word deals means, is that it allows businesses to set up deals for uh, their customers who are on Facebook. And they're able to set up whatever deal it is they want to put into place. And there are actually four different deal types uh, within Facebook, and time won't permit us to go into all of those. But uh, just to mention a couple, there's one for, you know, just um, a friend, and there's one for uh, friends of friends. In fact, you might want to expand on that one, Gina. Yeah, on the, well, I mean, uh, I think it's a smart thing. What Facebook is doing is saying, okay, we're going to offer you a discount or, or an online coupon of sorts. and But then if you tell your friends and you pass this along, then the whole group can get this um, deal which, again, it's a smart marketing move for businesses to get on board with this and find creative ways to use it because now what you're doing is you're letting your fans recruit more fans. Exactly. So That's exactly really what smart marketing think. moves. Yeah. yeah. Business, right. I think we have to, we, you know, we hear about these things and go, oh, that sounds really interesting. I wonder, maybe I should get a coupon. or No, we need to, as businesses, say, how can I use this? Yeah. Because they're really smart marketing, and we have five what five hundred and fifty million people now on Facebook. So right. There are a lot of eyeballs already right there on Facebook. So get on board and check these out because deals is a big one. Places we also talked about in episode one because obviously places is a big mobile part yeah. of Facebook, and I can't remember the number, Donna. Do you remember if it was two hundred million people that Facebook is saying use Facebook on a mobile device? Yeah, it is. I think it's 200 million. It, you're uh, right. That's it, the number that, that I saw in, in the last read. People are carrying around their iTouch, their, I, you know, their iPhones, their Androids, and they're checking in, and they're checking on their status on Facebook. So, you know, places is obviously a big mobile um, piece of that. So look at how you can incorporate that into your business by setting up your business as a place that people can check in. Exactly. Exactly. So I think that's uh, so, a, a big one. Another another big one that we saw this year was the the change of Facebook groups. And, mm. you know, for people who already had a Facebook group, it for some reason Facebook has a hard time with this. They don't change the name enough <laughs> because all they did was they changed what groups was. So um, if you had an old Facebook group, it stayed the same. But suddenly, as of, you know, whatever it was, September or so, you could no longer create a new group. Or, or you know, a, you couldn't create one of those old groups. Yeah. Now <laughs> groups really was, you and I have talked about this, it's a lot like LinkedIn groups. Yeah, it and is. So. Because, um, which you can get very overwhelmed with yeah. too many groups. Too many because groups. how much how much time do we actually have in the course of a day? Right. So you have to decide where you're going to divide your attention and which groups are more important to you, which ones can you give a fair amount of time and, and devote um, to it, just like with LinkedIn groups. I'm a, right. and, and, and I'm a, a member of so many different groups. They're all meaningful to me, but I don't have enough time to really devote to each one. You know, contribute right. to each group. 
you know, and it's so really have, finding yeah. a small group and I, I, you know, finding a group of people with a similar interest and then keeping it small enough because if it gets too big and people start posting comments, you open up your Facebook account and you have, you know, 500 notifications because every comment becomes bing, 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 you, you know, and, so, you'll, and you'll be called to read the great content and you just don't have time, but you're using it in a really smart way with your family. Yes, I am. What I chose to do is, you know, when I first started with Facebook and, and you've done the same thing because of marketing, we have people that we accepted as friends on our personal profile that actually aren't, you know, friends by definition of what that word really means, which is someone that we know usually intimately well, we've known for a while, and that we're going to share things with that friend that we might not share with someone that's a business acquaintance. So we have lots of business acquaintances that we classify as friends <laughs> on our personal profile. We're so, not sending them Christmas cards. But, but. Well, yeah, that's right. And so I may post uh, photographs that I just want my family and friends to see, but then all of these, everyone who, who we said is a friend that we accepted is seeing those. So I set up a group for uh, really, really close-knit friends and family that I'm posting to, right. and so I send messaging from within that group. That's what I, I'm using it for. And and I, you know, both my girls who are Facebook, you know, fanatics, they've uh, talked about setting up homework study groups for the same thing because you know yeah. within your groups you can load documents. The document stays there, so it's a similar uh, some similar features as Google Google Wave for those who are on Google Wave. Or Google Docs. I mean, you upload a document, you can upload pictures, and they stay within that group. So that's a nice feature that even LinkedIn groups doesn't offer. So that's cool. Yeah, that's, a, that's true. Now, I like that idea of the study groups. Yeah, it's a great tool for study good. groups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shreklet actually talked about, you know, having a group set up for each class. And then they mm -hmm. can go in and they can create a document of study notes and everybody contributes to it. It's like, what a great collaborative tool it is. for studying. So. You know. You've taught your girl well. Yes, she is a little <laughs> tech maven. She um, is. You know, and now the last, I, I think the last change or big happening within Facebook that I think will have the biggest impact in 2011 is the whole onslaught that we're hearing about is Facebook messaging. Oh, yeah. Um, that, I think, is a really interesting one. Now, you know, at the end of 2010, we still really haven't seen, I have not seen Facebook messaging out in the wild. Um, you know, I haven't seen the sighting, but we keep hearing about it. And we both have, you know, got our invitation. And you've right. already uh, kind of filled out some of the pieces to it, haven't you? Yes, I have. And, you know, it has been rolled out on my page. And I now do officially have a Facebook, you know, messaging. Um, I guess I'm going to say e in my email right. uh, message. Yeah. Uh, that um, identifies me, but I haven't started using it yet because it has just rolled out, right. and I think that's going to be another video segment we could do uh, to to inform everybody on. But I do think that's going to be a big, huge, a potentially big game changer. I think I think ten years from now we're going to look back and say it was ten, it was two thousand ten when email died or began, it started to die. I think mm -hmm. what Facebook is doing, because they, they're really doing a good job of not calling this email. We keep calling it email. I know. Um, but they're, they're really trying to make sure it's called messaging. It's the way that we connect with our community. And I think, I don't know if it'll be Facebook. It might be Google. I think everyone right now is looking at how do we redo email? How do we change the overwhelming mess that email has become? And Facebook is coming out with this whole messaging. And somehow we're all going to be given a Facebook email account. I'm going to call it email because it to, in our brains that's still how we classify it. But I'm just not sure. Um, but I, I think in 2011 it's going to be a huge shift. And here's one marketing tip. You know, a lot of us have collected email addresses. And we have built these, you know, our, our email list for marketing. You need to start looking at as a as a business to say I may need to get some more fans. I need to get more people following me on Twitter. I need to build that fan base, not in my personal Facebook, but on my business page. Because, like you and I have talked about, this Facebook messaging is to people you're connected with. So That's right. somehow, our email list may become obsolete if, in the future, I don't think it's going to be this overnight thing. But yeah, if that starts transitioning into more of a Facebook 
500, 600, 700 million people are going to be on there. Um, we need to really put some effort into building that Facebook fan, um, you know, those connections. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but I do. I think that I think it's a trend we that bears watching. Yeah. And I think we're going to see big changes next year. I just and see I the think, whole email game. Right. Will change. It, it will change. Yeah. And, just and, that. Know, as a smart businesses, we start setting goals for 2011. Really look at a strategy for that Facebook community. And not that we want to put so much effort into our Facebook account and we forget about, you know, our, our real life community or our email. Uh, but I, I do think we need to be a little more uh, focused on that Facebook community because there are such big things that are happening in that Facebook world. And I just don't see Facebook slowing down. Now, who knows? Maybe by the end of 2011, one of the top news stories is Facebook goes under, you know, who knows? Um, but somehow I don't see that happening. <laughs> I don't. I think that, I, well, I think about the story of the three little pigs when I think about Facebook. And I think that Facebook is the little piggy who built his home in brick. Yeah. And that all the competitors um, are more like, um, well, the other two little piggies who built out of straw and um, you get the idea. Sticks, yeah. So, yeah, sticks. So yeah. I think yeah. it is a home that we need to build and populate and really connect within. Yeah, and I think, again, 2010 was the year that we really started seeing businesses um, yes. take it serious. That, okay, Facebook is not just a personal college uh, chat room. No, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. And, and, and I think that if uh, companies don't adopt it, they're, they're going to be left out in the cold. Right. Yeah. It, it, it definitely needs to be a part of that marketing uh, strategy. Right, for 2011. So look at that. Big, big trend, big topic. Facebook was our second piece of our recap. Donna, I'm excited for the next three. Two, me too.